Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Tyler's Sports Cards. Hope you all had an excellent weekend and today on the channel we are going to open a product I have not yet opened on the channel and some Panini for the first time in a while. A little bit of 2021 Panini Chronicles Baseball and as you can see from this stamp right here, the first time ever I'm opening a first off the line Panini product. I got this on Panini.com for $146, PaniniAmerica.com. I think it bottomed out at $140, and regular hobby boxes, they've dropped a little. My LCS had them for $135. I think I've seen some on eBay for like $125, but I'm very happy with getting this for $146. Almost similar to what I paid last year for a regular one. And this is first off the line, so it comes with one Obsidian Orange autograph out of 75 or less, and one Neon Orange parallel of any of the brands out of 17 or less. So we're looking for the big name rookies or any superstars uh, in there. Six packs per box, eight cards per pack. Let's get right into it. Panini Chronicles, first off the line, 2021 baseball. There we go, Ronald Acuna Jr. of the World Champion Braves on the front. I know I, well, I posted yesterday, actually, some Heritage Myers I recorded a while ago, but this is the first video I'm recording since the Braves won the World Series. Congrats to them. Went on a little vacation to Florida last week, so I missed out on a lot, but we're gonna have a lot coming this week with Chronicles here I'm opening now. I got the Hobby Box and Retail Box, the Tops Update. I got Tops Archives and plenty more to come. Also, uh, if I haven't got to your videos for all of my loyal subscribers that I follow their videos as well, I'm sure I'll catch up. I just wasn't able to go on YouTube a lot within the last week. But let's get right into it. It's gonna be fairly quick. There's only six packs. I'm gonna take my time through it. Uh, four hits and then two packs, one of hits. They should have those thick American pastime cards, I believe is in it. Nice thick packs here. Bobby Dahlbeck on the top, a classic rookie. We have a super thick card in here. It's the next card. We'll skip it for now. That classic rookie of Bobby Dahlbeck is actually numbered 24 of 50. Nate Pearson. These cards are nice and thick. I like that stock. Very nice. Is that a titanium of Nate Pearson? A titan of Mike Trout. We're going to lose room quickly. Looks like we have that orange card coming up possibly here. A crusade of Juan Soto. I can't show everyone on the screen. A crusade orange of Trevor Rogers. So possible contender for NL Rookie of the Year. I believe it's going to end up going to Jonathan India. But that is 11 of 17. So there's our neon orange parallel. Pretty cool Trevor Rogers. I will top off one soda right there. And our first obsidian is Taylor Trammell. Let's see what's behind this Bobby Dahlbeck. If it's just a relic, it is a Chicago baseball outfielder and it's Ian Happ. Ian Happ, it's not even anything. It's just this America Pastimes card, the thick cards. I believe it's called America Pastimes, but pretty cool there. Nice Bobby Dahlbeck. We'll move Nate Pearson off the screen for now because we're gonna run out of room quickly. So those are the thick cards. We're still gonna have a bunch more hits. Hoping for big names, the big name rookies we saw this year, the Joe Adels, the Jared Kalmicks, Ryan Mountcastles, and so much more. Nice Bobby Dahlbeck, especially because I am a Red Sox fan. Fortunately, they only made it through towards the ALCS. Mookie Betts is going to be our next one after this. Anthony Rendon's Timeless Treasures. And it's just one of those thick cards again. Our first acetate coming up here is a nice Ronald Acuna Jr. Clear Vision. That is a sweet looking card right there. You can see right through it. Oh, it's stuck to something. We have two uh, acetate cards in a row. It is a magnitude of Chris Bryant. That's why you always gotta be careful with these acetate cards. They can scratch. Move these packs out of the way. We'll just stack them and put Ronald right there. Bobby Dahlbeck, that's a nice looking card. Wonder if that's a parallel. Not exactly sure what set this is from. It says, uh, oh, it's just a thick card. GS, I'll have to put what set that's from. Not exactly sure, nice Bobby Dahlbeck. Juan Soto is Phoenix, classic Phoenix design we've seen for a while. Nice overdrive of Jared Kalnick. I know this is a brand new set. Looks really cool. Obsidian of Alex Bregman and Mike Trout certified. Nice shiny certified right there. I loved Chronicles last year up in one hobby box and I think eight or so blasters. Really enjoyed it. 20 cards in the blasters, 48 in the hobby box. We should have four hits and four backs now. Uh, this looks like it should probably be a relic. Juan Soto, base score, our relic, or maybe it's an autograph relic. Either way, it's super thick, is a hitter, Aloy Jimenez. Let's see what Aloy is here. Just a thick, it's got a pinstripe in it, so that's cool. The America Pastimes, nice thick relic of Aloy. We'll move these packs off the screen, make some room. Nice Trevor Larnich, clear vision. That's awesome. Once again, another card stuck behind it, a magnitude of Daniel Lynch. Our first Panini Black, it is Jorge Mateo of the San Diego Padres. Casey Mize, 
Titan. Nice Casey Mize right there. Koei Arihara Crusade, a Jose Devers Titan, and that one is a Prism. The Mize was not. Bobby Dahlbeck Obsidian, like that one. I think all the Obsidians are Prisms of some sort. And Travis Blankenhorn, some New York Mets action with the Donruss Elite. So not a ton going in that pack. We did get our first hit, the Alloy. And we got three packs that should have three autographs, including a guaranteed orange obsidian out of 75. That pack opened terribly. Want to be careful with it in case there's a big hit here. This is going to be a week full of hobby boxes, I think. Or I might save my Tops Update hobby box for next week. But at least definitely have this one and archives. Um, what do we got here? We got Ian Anderson. We're going to save the autograph for the end. Taylor Walls, Clear Vision, nice Tampa Bay Ray. That is a Zenith of Braylon Marquez, first one I've seen of those. Nice Fernando Tatis Phoenix. Looks like we have another overdrive coming up here. Jonathan India, so two top rookies there with our overdrives, that's cool. Titan of Tatis. Dylan Carlson, Obsidian, we'll put him down. I'm a big fan of Dylan Carlson, thinks he's one of the top rookies this year. But we're gonna need to fill room for our autographs. Tristan McKenzie, Pinnacle Ian Anderson, and our hit is WC, please don't be Will Craig for our Obsidian. William Contreras out of 50. That's going to be autographed. So that's the Orange Obsidian. It's going to be out of 75, but out of 50. Nice William Contreras. He was on the roster for the Braves, who won it all. Of course, the back of catcher to Travis Darno. Pretty cool there. Uh, better than it being Will Craig, but still not a massive name. Hopefully our other autographs have some better names. Base Chronicles, Alec Bohm. Seems like the hit is always the second card. Well, I already showed it's Texas, and it looks like it's going to be Leody Tavares, so I might as well peel the Band-Aid off. Leody Tavares, he is someone I've got a lot of nice XR. Doesn't look like it's numbered at all, but Leody Tavares is our next autograph. Hopefully our last one's great. Magnitude of a Cuba Doo. That's a pretty cool card. Jazz Chisel, another solid name, XR. Uh, Cuba Doo Crusade. Young John Yang, Crusade Silver. Nice Obsidian of Acuna, like that. Braylon Marquez, Elite. Ian Hap Certified, and Drake Cronenworth, Elite. I think our only car numbered cards, well, I guess we got the Trevor Rogers and the Bobby Dahlbeck. So last pack, let's hope for a big name autograph here. Gonna have Christian Pache on the front. We're already showing it. RM, Origins Ryan Mountcastle, that would be awesome. It is, so at least we got a solid autograph here Ryan Mountcastle nice silver ink on that Mountcastle that is awesome a little bit of a smudging right here that's not numbered but the origin looks really cool I'm going to cover up Mike Trout right here awesome awesome our first clue Don Donruss and it's Bryce Harper that's an awesome card really like that one gotta be careful peeling it off like I said they're prone to scratching but nice acetate Bryce Harper Luis Patino Titan Dylan Carlson is a Phoenix a Chris Rodriguez, that's a different name. Angels is our overdrive. Dylan Carlson, Titan, and Ichiro certified. So that will do it for our uh, Panini Chronicles first off the line hobby box. We got three autographs and one relic. Our relic is Aloy Jimenez. And our autographs, a nice William Contreras Orange of Sydney on a 50. I wish that was the Mount Castle, but a really cool Origins Mount Castle as well. Lodi Tavares XR, uh, Bobby Dalbeck out of 50, Trevor Rogers Crusade, so at least that was a rookie card for our Neon Orange, Trevor Rogers out of 17, and some other cool cards as well, whether it be the Clearly Donner's Price, the Obsidian, Dylan Carlson, the Overdrive of Indian Kellenic, and so much more. Make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw. We got plenty more baseball content coming in the future. Like I said, update, archive, bone platinum, so much more of it coming out in the near future. Also follow my Instagram and my TikTok down in the description box below for extended content. Thank you and I look forward to the next time.